The state has closed its case against former President Rupiah Banda. The Lusaka Magistrate Court is therefore expected to set the date for ruling on whether or not Mr. Banda has a case to answer in a matter he is charged with abuse of authority of office in relation to the government to government or contract with Nigeria, whose proceeds benefited himself and his family. With the evidence adduced in court by the state witnesses, the court will have to rule on whether Mr. Banda will be placed on his defense if found with a case to answer or set free if not guilty. Earlier, Anti-Corruption Commission Senior Investigations Officer Friday Tembo said Zambia lost the opportunity to benefit from the contract as it only benefited Mr. Banda and his son Henry. Mr. Tembo said even though there was no financial commitment on the Zambian government, the 500,000 United States dollars which Sub Energy sent to Aizora, a bank based in Singapore, was supposed to benefit Zambians. He claimed that Henry instructed the directors of Aizora to send the money to Japan for the purposes of acquiring motor vehicles which were brought in Zambia. But defense lawyers said the evidence which Tembo adduced with regards to the acquisition of motor vehicles in Japan was irrelevant as it was not connected to the case. Naomi Ngandu, Movie TV News, Inusaka.